Hi there, this is Stephanie with True Door Property Management. It's mid-August and here's your market update. It is the end of the summer and I wanna make sure that you know what rents are going for in Orange County. Are they going up? Are rents going down? And what does this information mean for all of you Orange County landlords? Is your tenant up for a renewal? If they are, this video will help you determine whether to raise your rent and about how much. Do you have a vacant unit right now? If the answer is yes, then you need to know how aggressive you need to be on renting your or, uh, on your rent pricing. We will get into the numbers and give you some suggestions that will help you get the most money out of your rental. Do you have a vacant unit right now? If yes, then you need to know how aggressive you need to be on your rent pricing. We will get into the numbers and give you some suggestions that will help you get the most money out of your rental property. And if you're looking to do a 1031 exchange, we have a brief real estate sales market update at the end. So make sure you stick around. The most common landlord mistake is failure to consistently raise rent so if your property is not paying you market rents this video is not for you if your rents are low just call us work with our team we will create a game plan for you to help you maximize your rent now for all the smart landlords that have kept their properties close to market rent and market rate what should you the smart landlords do for your next rental increase or next lease renewal. For that, let's discuss year over year rents in Orange County. Across the board from studios to four bedrooms, rentals in Orange County have seen roughly a 9.5% increase. However, these are the median prices that have increased. Most of the increases came from the lower end of the marketplace and the lower price cities like Buena Park, Santa Ana, etc. However, we have seen increases in the higher price neighborhoods for two bedrooms, one bedroom, rooms and studio units. But if your property is in Irvine, Newport, or higher priced areas along the coast, prices for three or more bedroom units have stalled and even dropped. So if your property is in a lower priced area, then you can do a healthy increase of about five to seven percent increase. Some of you may ask, why is she suggesting a lower increase than 9.5 percent rent increase? Well, it's also about keeping your tenant in a happy place. Your biggest expense will be on a rental turnover and the cost of vacancy. So it's always in your best interest to keep your tenant long term and not drive them out over rent increases. Now, if you're in a high price neighborhood, rents have softened and we would suggest about a 3% increase on three or more bedroom units and 5% increase for the two bedroom and below in those higher priced areas. Please note that California has rent control on many rental units and some cities do also. So please check if your property has additional restrictions before increasing the rent or reach out to us. So recap, five to 7% increase for lower price neighborhoods that are below the median rental prices, 3% increases for three or more bedrooms in the higher price neighborhoods, and 5% increase for the two or less bedroom units in higher price neighborhoods. Now, if your property is vacant and you need help pricing, call us. We can put you in the right direction. But as a general rule, rentals under 4,000 can be fairly aggressive in pricing. But as a general rule, rentals under 4,000 can be fairly aggressive in pricing your units. But a word of caution, any units that are priced over 5,000, summer is coming to a close and school is starting. So if your rental is over 5,000, I would be competitive with your rental price and try to get in front of the falling luxury market and the inevitable seasonal slowdown. I also wanna share what's going on in the sales market for those of you looking to do a 1031 exchange or maybe purchase another investment property. Although interest rates are high with the national average being at 7.5% for a 30 year fixed mortgage, people are still buying real estate. Supply has been so low that prices have remained steady. So if you're looking to sell, you should be able to still get a solid price, just slightly lower than last summer. So again, for all your property management and real estate needs, call me, Stephanie at True Door Property Management, Make making you more money with less drama.